going to run you through the process for uh, flashing um, ESCs with BO Heli. This is the um, dongle from Banggood. It's the cheaper one of the two. Um, this little connector that I've made up. It's probably not the best to see, but um, I've just used the peg. I've cut the peg down and I've used some hot glue. Um, notice the ends of the pins are slightly bent. I notice that gives a better connection than trying to have them straight. Okay, because it allows them to flex a little bit. So, so the first thing you need to do is, um, is obviously go to Banggood and type in BL Heli. Okay, and it will come up with the um, that little flashing tool here. Okay, so just one thing I wanted you to note is that the red and the black wires are actually back to front on this connector. What I've done is I've unsoldered the red wire and the black wire and I've swapped them over. In fact, I've, I've um, put my own uh, uh, yellow wire on as well just so I could run this, um, this servo extension. Okay, so, so just note the wiring. When it does come from Banggood, it's going to be the red and black are going to be back to front. So you're going to have to either solder those yourself or um, just keep it in mind when you're flashing. Okay. Okay. Price. It's eight dollars seventy-seven Australian. Now they do have another one, um, which is ten dollars twenty-six, and um, it actually looks exactly the same. So. So I just went for the cheaper one, but it does show you that the uh, red and black wires are back to front on that one, and you can see um, you can see I've I've just moved the red wire. Okay, I'm just going to show you how to find the software. So if we go into Google, we type in BL Heli flashing, and we can pick the RC groups link. And you can see there's like two lots of software. So, so the first one is um, the EC firmware, and which is called um, BL Heli Master. And the second one is a Heli Suite uh, software, which allows you to tweak the settings and load the um, the flash and flash the uh, the chip. Now the other one is you can look for is the Sci Labs um, Silicon Labs flash utility. So that's the one I've been using. Uh, but again, you can you can just go to these two links. So the first link is the GitHub page. So that's where all the um, Bill Halley uh, revisions are done and kept. Um, now, if we download that zip, it'll download a folder called um, or a zip file called Bill Master, uh, Bill Halley Master. If we look in that folder, um, you can go into the Scilabs folder and the hex files. And you can see all the different type of helis that, uh, sorry, different type of ESCs that are supported here. So all I've done is I've copied out the um, the one I wanted, and I've copied out the Tenigi Plus six amp multi. So that's the multi rotor one. Okay. Uh, there's a few other types available, but you want the multi rotor one. Okay. So now the other program you could use. Um, so that's just for the X-Files. So the program you, you can use is called a, uh, it's called the BL Heli Suite. Okay. So if we look at the BL Heli Suite, we download that. And that's, again, that's version 12.101. And we'll just have a look here. And we'll have a look at the BL Heli Suite. And we'll run that. And that kind of looks something like this. Um, when you connect your dongle in there, it should recognize it. See, it's come down there with the tool stick. Now, it's not going to let you connect. Okay, it's not going to uh, let you connect until you've actually um, got this wired up to your ESC and you've got power running to the ESC. So we're going to actually use the uh, the Silicon Labs utility. It's a little bit simpler, um, and I'll just show you how to uh, to do it with that program. Okay, thank you.
Hey Derek, what are we going to do? This is the pre-BL Heli performance of the stock plush Turnegi 6 amp. You can see it's um, so if you, there's a bit of a lag, must have a soft start. So there's a bit of a very pronounced soft start on this. So let's hope the BL Heli flash will fix it. Okay, here we go. Okay, from the information we found, um, it looks like the 6 amp plush uh, needs to be flashed on these three points. So there's a black, there's a gap, and there's a red and white. First step is to uh, remove a little bit of the heat shrink. So the technique we have patented <laughs> is to just above the terminator, because it looks like there's a bit of circuitry there. Just on top of that, probably not, we don't go all the way across. Cut down like that. Mm -hmm. And then, along the edge. Without cutting your thumb. Without cutting your thumb, just cut a bit of a slide bit off. Okay. Then you can peel that side bit off, and then the top bit should just pull off like that. Okay. Well, that exposes the uh, the four pads. Yeah, and that's enough. So okay. you don't have to take all your heat shrink off. Okay, so we're just lining up the pins at the moment. I'll give you a closer look um, a little bit later. And we're just about to plug the... Uh... So we'll plug the power in first. And... Make sure you've got something that tells you there's power. Yep. And we'll just plug the USB in. Okay, and we're just going to try to connect. It's connected, great. Now we'll go to the download tab. We'll pick the right firmware and we'll click download. Wait, wait. Make sure you've got the. Yeah, make sure you've got that little tick box that says erase everything. And there you go, that's finished now. Now, if you fail, just keep trying. Yep. Random clicks. Sync. That's it. Just try, try again. Then we go to the disconnect and we turn it off. And it's done. Perfect. Thank you, Derek. <laughs> just finished flashing this one with the, um, the BL Heli. We haven't actually got into the GUI at all. We've just did basically a default load. All right. Yeah, Derek's going to see what the throttle response is going to be like on this yeah, thing. Mate, you've got the footage from before. Yep. Oh, beautiful! Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, oh yeah. What do you think, Derek? I like it. <laughs>